In this session, we're going to look at a closed shadow dome and answer the question, are we able to access a closed shadow dome? Straight to the point, no, we're not able to access a closed shadow dome. However, I'm going to show you why and also explain why we're not able to access a closed shadow dome. Rob Dyson wrote an article introducing shadow dome. He uses this video player as an example. On the video player, we see a play button that turns into a pause button, time tracker, volume control, a way to make the screen full screen, and a way to download and have picture in picture. On the other hand, if I inspect the video player, we see a video tag with some nested source tags. Where are the other tags such as playing the video button? Those other tags are hidden using a shadow dome. Notice the breadcrumb does not show shadow root, but we can see how the browser implements shadow root by going to settings, clicking the checkbox for show user agent shadow dome under the elements tab. Close the settings, reload the page, and inspect the video player again. The video and nested source tags are still here. Now, we also see shadow roots in the dome and breadcrumb. You know how we could not find any tags for playing the video? Watch what happens when I expand the last div tag. We see play and those other media controls. That's encapsulation because they chose to hide the details. The checkbox show user agent shadow dome allowed us to analyze the encapsulation. There are two types of encapsulation mode, open and close. They have the same purpose, but the difference is an open shadow dome mode allows us to access the shadow tree. However, a closed shadow dome mode does not allow us to access the shadow tree, even if we use JavaScript. There is no way around it. This is a closed shadow dome mode because the element shows shadow root user agent. Recall from the previous session, we can create our own JavaScript path or copy the JavaScript path. I am going to try and copy the JavaScript path by clicking right click, right click and copy, copy JS path, and copy JS path is disabled. It does not highlight with the gray background. So let's go ahead and copy the JavaScript path for the shadow host, which is the video tag. Copy, copy JS path, and go to the console. Clear it and paste. Hit enter. Now we see the video tag. If I maximize, we see the shadow root. Maximize one more time. And now we see the div tag that had the media controls. Access the shadow root after clicking the up arrow key, dot shadow root. Do you see null? Let's finish and write dot query selector open and closing in parentheses two single quotes and the div tag now i'm going to hit enter and we see a type error uncaught type error cannot read property of null that means we are trying to access a property of an object that is not defined that's it for trying to access a closed shadow root, shadow dome, shadow tree. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next session. All Part 1 ebooks and PDF documents are free. Programming books for UFT. Programming books for Java. Here's the Selenium Automation Book. And TestMG. Subscribe to get notification of future videos. Don't forget to like, comment, and share.